This is gonna be a good day. Whoo! Okay. All right. So uh, I just got out of the theater. Uh, just saw Halloween Kills, and um, these are my first thoughts. Um, whew, wow. <laughs> um, it's a wild ride. Plain and simple. Uh, I won't go into any spoilers or anything like that, so don't worry about that. This is exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's complete madness. I remember there's a quote from John Carpenter uh, that came out like last year that when he was doing the score for this movie, it was essentially, he said it was like the ultimate slasher on acid or something like that. I don't know, but that that just to me was enough. I was like, okay, I don't need to see any trailers or anything else. There's a lot in this movie and it feels like a throwback 80s, 70s slasher it's got like sort of like a campiness to it but not too campy where it's just you know ridiculous it's got some over-the-top dialogue it's got some over-the-top kill scenes over-the-top action scenes over the, just everything is so over the top but in the best way i mean if you like halloween six and stuff in halloween six if you like over the top stuff from rob zombies halloween then you 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 can't not like this movie. It's hypocritical to say, oh, I don't like this movie. It's a little ridiculous if you like those other movies because it has that quality to it. And I think that's the idea to sort of get this out of the system now, have this middle chapter where it's just complete craziness, and then it'll calm down in Halloween ends. The scenes that are the flashback scenes were just really well done. It feels like it could be connected to the original. I mean, it's not shot for shot, I mean, but it has... Similar lighting. You can't have the cinematography from Dean Cundy. I get it, but it just it feels like it was in that same universe, that same sort of time frame. And uh, I think they did a good job with it. I think they did a good job with just making the movie just complete craziness, but also there's these moments of tension and suspense. Like you're sort of on the edge of your seat, like just sort of waiting for it's like like you're like oh my god, but they don't let it play out too long because it's a different time nowadays. I'm not trying to compare this movie to carpenter's original or halloween 2018 or whatever like i'm just going in there and just trying to have fun with it that's exactly what i did i just had fun with it and it was it was a lot of fun there were some pacing issues obviously it just went at a frenetic pace just but i i expected that i expected this movie to feel that way and it did and uh so i wasn't completely caught off guard and you know i wasn't really bothered by the over the top sort of dialogue or over the top you know kill scenes and whatnot like some stuff caught me off guard some stuff was like you know i expected that but i was like a kid at a candy store like i was watching this movie and just like i could not take my eyes off the screen my eyes were big huge like oh my god oh my god it this is just this is craziness i can't wait to watch it again is it a cinematic masterpiece no but it's not trying to be it's just trying to have fun it essentially is this is a fan's movie. If you like the Halloween franchise, all of them, just for what it is, and you'll like this movie. If you like the original and only the original and not the sequels, then you're not going to like this movie. You're probably not going to like any of these movies because it's really hard to compare to the original. It's, it's a classic. If you haven't seen it yet, go in there with a open mind and just have fun and just let Michael do his thing and let the characters play out and you'll see where they go. It's interesting where they go. Don't get too caught up in the frenetic pace. Don't get too caught up in the dialogue and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, just have fun with it. And, um, you know, we'll see where this goes in the next chapter, which is another thing. I, some things I expected, some things I did not uh, expect to go the way they did. And uh, it's very interesting to say the least. That's all I'll say. It's, it's gonna be interesting to see where this story goes in the last installment, at least for this saga. Cause they could always do a soft reboot again and you know, you can go with another character or whatever. And yeah, but for this saga, the Laurie Short saga, very interesting. And uh, I'm fascinated to see where this is gonna go. I don't think it's as good as 2018 overall as a movie, but I think as far as fun, Halloween atmosphere, it's another thing. Oh my God. The Halloween atmosphere in this movie, there's just, if 2018 didn't feel like Halloween, which I thought it did, but some people didn't, this movie is just drenched. It's soaked in Halloween. There's Halloween stuff everywhere between the decorations and the everything. It's just, it's all over the place. So yeah, I can't wait to watch it again. This is just my first thoughts, my first response. Um, my gut instinct, just, just coming out of the theater and just sort of sitting down and just 
sort of unloading here and I have fun with it. I, I, I'm going to watch it a bunch of times on Peacock. I'll let it soak in. I know it's like the initial hype is always like sort of like, oh, getting caught up in stuff. And it's like, oh, it's so good. And I don't know where I put it in my rankings right now as far as, you know, best to worst. I will, I will say if I, I liked the atmosphere and the sort of how sort of violent Michael was in Halloween 6. But Halloween 6 isn't a great movie. This does it in such a better way. So if I like Halloween 6 that much, and if I like movies like Halloween 4, which is another under the radar, just really solid Halloween sequel, uh, underrated. This movie has to be up there because even though it's a little frenetic, it just does all the things that those movies did well, but it's a better overall package and better overall movie than those uh, movies. So it may not be as good as Halloween 2018, but it's, as of right now, I think it's better than Halloween, way better than Halloween 2. Better than Halloween 6, uh, absolutely. And as far as um, Halloween 4, I don't know. It might be. Um, this, is a, this is a solid, a very solid Halloween movie. Uh, and I'm glad it's here. I can't wait for the last chapter in the Strode saga, Halloween ends. So... Speaking of surprise, why didn't anybody tell me that Jim Cummings was in this movie? That was the most pleasant surprise. Jim Cummings, if you don't know who he is, he's one of my favorite up-and-coming directors. He's directed two movies. He's coming out with a third uh, movie this November 6th called The Beta Test. He is such a good actor, director. His movies are so unique. He's directed and starred in uh, Thunder Road. He's directed and starred in The Wolf of Snow Hollow. He's got a new movie coming out, The Beta Test, which is coming out November 6th. He was in this movie as a cop again, and I just was like, my face lit up. Jim Cummings as a cop in a Halloween movie. My life's complete. If you like this review, uh, don't forget to like it, subscribe, follow me on social media for all channel updates in the in-between time, and I will see you in the next one. Happy Halloween.